I kind of fell into it really. Um, um, I, I'd played cricket all my life and um, got to 34 years of age and figured it was time to, to give the game up. My body hurting, was hurting too much. And I had a couple of years off uh, and then at a, at a lunch with a, an ex-test umpire, um, he, um, he flagged the idea he, uh, that, you know, he said, have you ever considered becoming an umpire? And um, of course I said I hadn't, but um, well, that night I went home and I saw, um, the first thing I saw when I switched the TV on was Daryl Hare umpiring in the Caribbean. And I thought to myself, wow, you know, that's, that might be a good career to, to pursue. You know, it looked, it looked attractive. So um, I signed up the next day and, and I, it's the best decision I've ever made. I, I've, I've loved every minute of my, my umpiring journey. It's been, it's been fantastic. Scary, exciting, all at the same time. It was um, India versus Sri Lanka at Manika Oval in Canberra, uh, one day international. Um, I remember it was a rain affected game, so we had delayed starts. And um, uh, I was at, at that point, obviously, I was um, under the control of Cricket Australia, and I was presented with um, my Australian umpiring blazer by um, Mark Taylor the ceremony before the start and that was yeah that was a really proud moment. Don't remember much about the game but it was all a bit of a blur but yeah I think I got through it unscathed. The first um, big T20 match in Australia I was, I was uh, fortunate enough to umpire it was Australia and India at uh, the MCG and it was only like my second third international match I walked out in front of 85,000 people and the noise was just unbelievable. Um, I remember the second ball of the game, I, uh, Brett Lee bowled a wide, a signal wide and 85,000 people booed me. Uh, uh, he bowled a wide the next ball and they booed even louder and I thought, hey, this is great. <laughs> this, is really, this is really fantastic. I love playing golf um, and Fortunately, the game, uh, the umpiring allows me a lot of opportunity to, to play some really good golf courses all around the world. Um, the, the courses are better than I am, but um, you know, I do enjoy my golf. Uh, I love reading, um, and uh, so I, I, I do read a lot of novels, um, you know, like um, sort of crime thrillers. So I, you know, I get through quite a lot of them on, on any given cricket tour. I would study the, the teams that, that I'm about to um, umpire, uh, so I'd have in my mind some idea of what sort of um, players I'm going to have, whether it's going to be fast bowling and bounce, spin, turn, uh, where we're playing, um, to sort of to think about the, the conditions of the wickets, whether they're going to be high bounce, low bounce, fast, um, deteriorating, etc. But I, I tend to do that well before um, uh, I even get on the plane to, to leave for my assignment um, and then I try not to think much about it at all. Um, I, I try to stay, keep my mind uncluttered so that I don't become all uh, pent up and, and nervous going into the matches. That was interesting. Um, I think um, the players that I'd played with expected me to um, give them favourable decisions and, and they were always disappointed when I didn't. Um, in fact, they, they always claimed that, that I was, you know, I, I was never giving them hometown decisions. So, uh, uh, but challenging, but you know, I, again, that was one of the things that I really liked about um, becoming an umpire, that um, to be totally independent and um, a, a neutral arbiter arbitrator of the game uh, and really enjoy it.